हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लाइट अप नॉलेज एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू टूडेज वीडियो आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल कवर डेउस एक्स मार्किना अ लिटरी टेक्निक व्हिच हैज इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस फ्रॉम द हिस्ट्री टू द मॉडर्न्स एंड आल्सो द यूसेज स्लाइट शिफ्ट फ्रॉम द रिस्पेक्टिव टाइम नाउ विदाउट एनी फर्दर आर डू और डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड the latin term deus ex machina is a translation of a greek phrase and means literally a god from a machine machine in this case refers to the crane that held a god over the stage in the ancient greek and roman drama to break down it's a person or a thing that appears suddenly as well as unexpectedly and provides a contrived solution to an apparently insolvable conundrum that the characters are going through but therefore if you talk about real life situation such things as uh, deus ex machina do not exist so in real life there is no such deus ex machina it is a literary technique where basically at the end of the play god appears for example there is a character who fell off a cliff but suddenly out of nowhere a flying robot appears to catch them then that would be a deus ex machina the goal of this device the basic aim of using this device is to bring resolution okay to bring a resolution but it can also introduce a comedic relief and it also disentangles the plot or it is also used to surprise an audience ancient usage the practice of introducing a god at the end of a play to unravel and resolve the plot dates from at least the 5th century bc Euripides who was one of the playwright who made frequent use of this device now it designates the practice of some greek playwrights especially euripides to end a drama with a god lowered to the stage by a mechanical apparatus who by his uh, judgment and commands resolves the dilemmas of human characters so it beautifully explains as the concept of god who is appearing at the end of the play to resolve the problem and the and the technique was used in abundance by this greek playwright euripides here we have an example from the ancient usage of this literary technique deus ex machina and the example is from oscar wilde's the importance of being earnest so the ending can be referred to as deus ex machina which is highly an improbable ending the chance of jack really being whom he pretended all along not to mention basically algernon's brother not to mention bracknell and miss prism meeting on this fortuitous occasion all are occurrences which are very unlikely and therefore brings us to the conclusion that there is a, a presence of god in this given example basically towards the end of uh, the work uh, importance of being earnest modern usage the phrase is now used for any forced or improbable device a tell tale birthmark an unexpected inheritance the discovery of a lost will or letter by which a hard pressed author resolves a plot so in other words we can say that this phrase is applied to any unanticipated intervener uncalled intervener who resolves who brings to a conclusion and he resolves a very difficult situation and uh, basically a difficult situation in any type of literary genre maybe a prose maybe a poetry maybe a 
drama. So, it brings a resolution in any literary technique and there is no such usage in uh, or importance in real life, it is all in the literary work that we can think of. After knowing the modern usage, let us have an example from the same and the example belongs to David Marcus book and the name of the book is The New Republic. Throughout the book, The New Republic, Webster functions more as a symbol of this idea than as a protagonist. Disappearing for long stretches of the narrative only to reappear only to reappear. So, Deus Ex Machina style with a rousing speech defending national unity against uh, growing sectionalist influence is what we observe throughout uh, the beautiful work by David Marcus that is the new republic. So, yes guys that was an end to today's video where I have explained you Deus Ex Machina. I hope you understood it and you enjoyed watching it and if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you can get regular updates of the videos that i upload so there is a separate playlist of literary forms devices and figures of speech on my channel the link of which will be available in the description box until then keep learning and keep growing